Hello, welcome back. Uh, we're still in the war against Siena. And uh, so I've just unpaused the game and I'll continue with that. Uh, right, so our fleet, which I forgot to put the maintenance on, has arrived back in Nice. Uh, it'll take a while to get this morale back up and then I'll send it back out. Uh, I don't think there's anything here I really need to be concerning myself with. Uh, so stick the speed back up to four for now. Right, so white piece against Provence. There's no, they're at peace completely now. I do want to take these at some point, hopefully, but uh, they've got some good allies at the moment. I'm allied to Burgundy, of course, and they're at peace, so that's good. Uh, Tuscany has joined Brittany. That's uh, not the best of allies for them. They're definitely a potential country I'll be invading, hopefully, if the opportunity presents itself. How's my fleet doing morale-wise? One more month and I can send it back out. Right, so... Baden? No, no interest in you. Ooh, Genoa has broken the alliance with Provence. That's probably good for us. Uh, who are they allied with? Scotland and Aragon. Aragon would be a threat. Scotland, probably not. That could be a worry. Right, Tuscany has declared war on Siena. We're a bit too late, Tuscany. We're already there. Uh, I'm really hoping that Provence don't enter the war now. Over here, I could be in trouble. I'm not sure if they can or not. Right, so Urbino have entered recently. When was that? 2nd December. Uh, Tuscany declared war as well, didn't they? And Urbino in the set. Ah, oh, it's not against... Yeah, Urbino were in that war a while ago. It's against Tuscany. Uh, they just joined. Siege is going to be a while, yeah, maybe a... The, the amount goes up all the time and it's not even in positive amounts yet. There's no way I can assault the actual fortress. I don't have the troops to do it or the high enough tech level. Hopefully it'll be done by, I don't know, December this year, or a bit longer. Right, so, uh, Papacy has also declared war on Urbino. Oh, uh, Mantua asks, I think that's the third time they've asked for a marriage. Uh, I don't think I've got... Oh, my stability is low. I've forgotten all about that. So it's 90. I should do that. Uh, there's actually been changes since the demo. Stability costs. You can see there's a negative uh, positive stability now on the cost. Uh, that's uh, one of the changes since the demo. There's been nervous as well uh, to do with the missionary strength, I think. Uh, you can't. Certain provinces are hard to convert. So you can't basically convert the religion or they convert their uh, ethnicity, their culture, because you can't do that without converting the religion first. So certain certain uh, places could be very... I'm not sure if it's... I think it's mainly to do with heathen, heathens rather than heretics. So uh, of different religion groups, uh, it's harder to convert now. I'm not 100% sure now. 
Uh, my aims in this game are to take the Tunis region at some stage, maybe even the Alexandria region. But the Savoyards have... Where is it? There. Missionary extra strength, so that could be very useful if I conquer non-Christian lands, I believe, in the future. See, just progressing nicely now. It could fall. It's a 35% chance of it falling this month. Uh, we're going to need a diplomat uh, after it does. I don't think I'll. Well, uh, Urbino is already being besieged, so I can't really get hold of that. So I'll probably make peace as soon as I can after taking Siena. Tuscany has made, made peace of Tuscany. Not sure what the point of that was for Tuscany. Right, so Siena has been taken. I need a diplomat, so I'll recall the Swiss diplomat. Or diplomat to the Swiss. Uh, my relations are going up with, with France, but that's soon going to change when I annex this problem. I still don't want that, so I'll right click on it. Uh, right, three days to the diplomat. Navarra is now a vassal. Diplomat's back home. 100%. I forgot about my fleet as well. I could have uh, gone and destroyed their, their um, navy. Would have got prestige for that, so that's a small mistake. And I've been paying the maintenance for it. Right, so full annexation. Very, very costly in terms of aggressive act. Uh, 22.5. I'm not sure how much the hard difficulty setting is to have an effect on this. But that's a lot. Do you know where Milan hate my guts, basically? And I've angered, I'll anger France as well, which isn't a good idea. My ally won't even like it either. But I don't see... I mean, I could vassal them, but I need territory. And I certainly need more ports. So... Do that. In the trial run game, it, I actually took Sena first as well. It's just going quite similar so far. Uh, right. It's going to be rebellions here, so I need to keep... Uh, this is my army in Siena. Send my navy there. I shall. I don't need a. Don't need that because. I don't have a merchant marine fleet. Uh, you get negatives to your trade if you uh, have low fleet maintenance when you're using the barks, basically, the trading fleet. Back is the first type of ship you can have in the trading fleet. Uh, should I move my trade round as well? 3.5, 3.2, I think I should. Oh, what the hell? Look at that. It's been moving trade to the wrong place. I'm sure I didn't. I'm sure it was set on that before. Right, so... It doesn't ask you to where you want to trade it. You have to manually remember to do it. Right, so that's been costing me money. Looks like the papacy is probably going to annex uh, Abino. Fifty-eight. Even though it didn't actually mention a lot of the countries I'm getting negative aggressive expansion with. Um, I'm gonna have quite a few enemies pop up in here soon. Brittany. I think they're allied to uh, one of the nations that are next to me. Right, so France is maxed out. Terrible relations still. There's not much I can do about it. Though. 
There's been a change in sensor demo as well with the border friction. It's based now on the length of the borders between two nations. So if I did say take Provence and Avignon at some stage, our borders would be quite long and they'd be even more border friction. So that's something to consider. Uh, Alliance, how's that going with Burgundy? I should probably... Oh, I... Right, who hates me now? 84, 102... 90, 6 I'm in Milan, I think. It's always a balancing act when you're really small, not trying to, well, trying to take territory and not be declared war on. So diplomat and merchant. I think. Uh, oh, I'll tell you what I've forgotten about. Uh, core. Something really important that you shouldn't forget. Uh, what else? Merchant. only transfer of course because I don't have any territory in the area yet and I shall pick it there when I can. Uh, free diplomat who I should send to Burgundy. Make sure they're keeping on side. Hmm. Maybe I should send it to Genoa or Switzerland actually. Right, Urbino was annexed, no surprises there. Provence entered the military alliance. Right, so who's the next target? Brittany, so Tuscany may be the next target. Uh, probably want the relations with France to improve a bit before I go about doing that though. Uh, military wise, Alright, I need money to buy some ships. Two per turn, that's good. Right, so merchant has arrived. And papers here in a military coalition against us. So that's not good. Right, 0.44. Hopefully that sticks on there. Uh the relation they're outraged I'll take I'll take the diplomat out from Burgundy and I'll stick it in the papacy anyone else really angry at me Modena wants alliance actually which is interesting Genoa are. Do you know what, uh, at war? Actually, I like, uh, improve relations there. Three enemies still. Right, an agent from Genoa. It's not a good sign. We've changed culture for province in out. So our culture there is now Lombard from Burgundia and that is also a mission. So we get culture or diplomatic power I should say. Uh, Genoa have entered coalition as well. So this is worrying times but I am allied to Burgundy. Or anything I've oh missions that was something I'm forgetting about. Created proper fleet. Definitely want to do that. I think. Uh, culture to Wallace. Uh, 
I'm going to do the fleet first, uh, I think. Yeah. So I'm going to concentrate on... I might build another cog and I'll build backs when I have enough money. Uh, to increase my trade within the current Genoa node. My army has a really bad morale. Hopefully they'll be able to take down any peasants that arrived or nationalists, but I think if they can't, they would flee into the Roman lands anyway because I have military access. And I could just uh, regenerate my morale then by giving maintenance bonuses. I have 23 money, so it's time I start building a navy. My force limits have gone up a huge amount. It was at, I think it was at four before, so it's doubled. Uh, Siena happens to be a very wealthy uh, province, so that helps with that, I believe. Can't remember if it's the same. I don't know if it's the same calculation as uh, EU three, but the tax base was linked to it somehow, I believe, to force limit. Can't remember how though. Uh, Right, so what do I want? I want a bark. And the best place to do that is here. Barks cost 20 gold. Right, so I can't do it quite yet in Siena, but I'll make it in Nice instead. They only just did that in Naples. Right, wider world. Can't really see much uh, changes going on yet. Uh, right. My frame rate dipped when I went zoomed out massively. Then might have to turn up the fans on my computer. Uh, build a great palace. Monarchs was often struggling with ways to subdue the nobility. The rise of firearms reduced the nobles' role as warriors but left them with, in the eyes of the monarchs, too much idle time. Some monarchs created great new palaces with elaborate court rituals to dazzle the nobles and keep them occupied. Versailles is the greatest expression of movement. Build a palace. 10 prestige, 20 legitimacy, which I don't need so much, or don't build it. Uh, it's typical I just spent my money on that fleet. I really would like the prestige though because it lowers the aggression that I've incurred from conquering Siena faster. I believe it is called better relations over time. So I think I'll take a loan to achieve that. Which sucks but nothing I can really do about it. Because it's like a 20 prestige difference there, isn't it? So I believe it now automatically takes a loan out. And my inflation goes up a point as a result. Probably at the end of the month it takes a loan out, is it? Yeah, 24 loan. Uh, if I re if I had the money to repay the loan now, I'd still have to pay the interest. So I, that's cost me about 4.8. Uh, that's not too bad. The loans are much better in EU4 now. Uh, taking a loan in the EU3 was uh, basically you're on your way to defeat if you were taking loans, but... Ooh. Burgundy has declared war on Provence. Oh, Provence have loads of territory, though, don't they? There's uh, one there, one there, one there. So they're trying to unite their uh, two halves of their empire, which is a very good idea for them. 
wonder if they call me into war. That could be a problem. I hope they don't have a big fleet. Uh, I would like to take Provence at some stage as well, probably. Or uh, literally the province of Provence. Oh, uh, something I've forgotten about. Uh, the bark is ready. So protect trade. I think the best place... Uh, the place to go, I think, is Genoa. Uh, because it is collecting trade for a start. Uh, the only reason to really go to Tunis would be if there's a huge influx. Or, or well, if... If Tunis had very little power in it, but it was a it was a very rich node, then it would probably be better to send it there. Each basically each uh, light ship adds power to the nodes. You get a percentage based on you get, uh, the gold percentage is based on the total power in the node and what percentage you hold of that total power. So anyway, I think the best place is Genoa at the moment. Because that's not rich enough and there's too much power in it. Uh, right, so where's my... Here he is. Protect trade, Genoa, send. So that will... It will add three... Three more power. But my... Extra... Percentage of trade won't necessarily be. It will be a percentage based on how much power there is in the whole node, which is God knows how much. Frame rate dipped again there for some reason. Uh, Morocco broke their alliance. I should be. I need to keep 28 odd for that loan. So I try to remember to keep 28. I think. That's 28 point... 28.56. So keep 29 on my treasure and I'll save that for a another bark to increase... to complete my mission and get more trade power. Right, Ferrara... Right, nothing there really. Uh, my monarch points are going up considerably now, so we're going to be getting texts and ideas potentially soon. In the trial run I did, I actually picked the economic idea as my first idea. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that this time, because I didn't really uh, spend any points in it in the first 25 years. Uh, Mainly because I was taking territories and, and my I had loads of stability hits, so I never had a chance to. Uh, I'm not really sure I'm going for. It's not going to be a diplomatic one, I think. Although I have longer term in this game, I can see me taking maybe four or five of the diplomatic ideas if I'm going to go a colonial empire. Right, so Siena has caught. So that means extension, overextension has gone down. I don't think there's much to do apart from that. Right, so I've got to be keeping an eye. I need 58, I think. Uh, no, 59 I need to wait to before I get that back. For just for safety's sake. Right, so diplomatic technology is now available to be invested in, should I so wish. This province, I want to change the culture of uh, Wallace. I'm not sure, some of my pronunciation of certain provinces is going to be a bit dodgy probably. Uh, but I know I'm going to be a lot better than some people uh, I've watched. Uh, so this is probably French, isn't it? So it's probably Wallace or Wallace or something like that. 
uh, French part of Switzerland. Uh, anyway, right, diplomatic tech. Can't unlock that yet. Right, so what does diplomatic tech give me? Gives me trade range, which is will be useful long term, but not so much now. Docks and marketplaces. Uh, but I'm going to I'm going to wait a bit. I have there are negatives or uh, reduce that which reduce the cost from the base to 600. I think the base cost may be higher on hard difficulty. I'm not sure on that though. Uh, I haven't tried normal to see to be honest. Um, but base it goes also goes the cost goes down also based on the other countries around you, uh, the neighbours, if they have that tech, you get a reduction. So I'm going to wait a bit, see if I can get a reduction, basically. Uh, I should check my advisors, I haven't seen them for a while. This guy's got a tax bonus, so no changes there. Spy, global trade. Global trade would be useful. And what's he got? Reputation. I think... Uh, Diplomatic reputation is mainly for. Let's see. Do I get it here? No, there's no bonus there. I think it's for annexing and things like that. Maybe. And giving bonuses to, say, alliance proposals. So it can be useful. I try. Oh, what's this? New mark in Burgundy, so good. They get new monarchs. I try moving the speed up to five for a second because there's not much happening. Frame rate drop then. Doesn't like all these fleets moving around so quickly. Uh, Castile declared one Granada. I think they did it. I mean, they usually get conquered straight away in this. Uh, this is a 1444 start as well, if I didn't mention earlier. Uh, they usually get conquered straight away in the Grand Campaign, but I think in in reality they were conquered, I don't know, was it 1480s or 90s? The Reconquista. Oh, wrong button. Put it back down to 4. Uh, frame rate's dropping too much. Uh, the auto save seems to have an effect on it as well. Right, so I'll actually build that back. I could build it. I think Cien, yeah, Cien is ready as well now, but I'll just. Well, actually, we'll build it in Nice because it's done a bit quicker. Oh, what did I build then? I built the right ship. Yeah, I did. How much did they cost? Twenty. Oh, it's forty-nine. I needed. I've uh, been miscounting. Can't do simple mathematics, basically. Right, so Burgundy, they took took Barois and Lorraine seated Metz, and they got a lot of aggressive expansion for that. So Provence, who are they allied with now? Ferrara. So they've only got one ally. And Ferrara. Allied with Provence and Milan. Not sure exactly how the cascading alliances work, if they work at all now. Uh, I think it was some change then, but I'm not entirely sure what it is. But Provence is looking a bit weak at the moment. I definitely... I'd like to reduce my aggressive expansion with France before I attack next, maybe, but I should definitely consider uh, attacking Provence quite soon. Uh, it's 
there any rebellions in Siena still? No, it's gone. So, anyway, I think that's about it for this video. Uh, maybe we'll attack Provence in the next, who knows? Or Tuscany. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you'd like to see more content like, like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm actually doing a Civilization V Brave New World Let's Play at the moment, which is coming to its conclusion. So go, please go and check that out if you haven't seen it already. And uh, if you'd like to leave a comment or question, please do. And I'll answer any of those. And most importantly of all, please watch the next video. And I'll see you next time.